I really are very delighted that many people are calling me and some are sending messages and appreciating these speech clips. I feel very happy and satisfied that I'm touching few people. Reminded me recently of that patient of eight years old in London. He was cured in the hospital for COVID-19. And as he was about to go, the hospital said that you have to pay this bill of 500 sterling pounds for using the oxygen, the ventilator. Immediately he started crying. Then they asked him, you don't have money to pay? No, no, he said, no, I have money to pay. I can pay it immediately. But I am crying because for the last 80 years, I've been using oxygen free of charge from the Creator and I've not been paying for anything for Him. And that's what I'm crying. And sometimes we feel there are certain things in life that come to free to us are absolutely wonderful. If you are a water sprout or a fountain on the top of a hill, your desire is to become a river. By virtue of being a river, you flow to the ocean going through a long journey. In the process of your journey, you create so much of fertile land for so many trees to grow, so many farmers to grow their fields, so many fish to grow in the, uh, the river, and so much of life to be created through the river. The river flows to the ocean, breaking all the barriers, all the obstacles. When they face obstacles, you go over the obstacles or we go around but you go to the destination the river has an identity as its individual river but when it reaches the ocean when it gets connected to the ocean he loses the identity he becomes a part of the ocean the river so in the process of our lives if we are a fountain or a water spout rising from the top of a hill our desire should be to become a river to touch lives and to bring energy and bring some sort of a revival to the people around us. And if you feel that and you join the vast ocean and become your glorious entity thereafter. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't care who gets the credit, we can do many things that can touch the society. In the New World Order, it is not the who get the credits, or who receive the benefit, who receive the praise or the honor. You may receive praise and honor from your family or from your friends, for your employees, so from other people. But in the New World Order, there are millions of people that could benefit by your virtues and they are unseen and unheard and their life are touched. And that should be the way if you are a river, if you are a fountain. But if you are a water tank, it is only benefit few people for a short time. Be a fountain, be a river to touch lives.